Hi viewers, this is my reading diary. Today we'll be reading World's Worst Parents by David Williams, part two. So the morning of the final came, Ping dashed around the supermarket with her parents to buy all the ingredients she needed to make her creamy mushroom pasta. However, when she called out for her father to reach for a block of Italian Parmesan cheese from the top shelf, the man was momentarily distracted by his own stinky feet. When he leapt up to reach the shelf, he released some understink. Understink is the worst of all the stinks as it comes from the bottom of the foot. The stench snaked all the way up from his toes to his nose, and even he was taken by surprise by the Pontus Magoria. As his wife and child gagged, the stink actually blinded Peter for a moment. Tears welled in his eyes but at the smell and he picked up a pat of cooking fat by mistake. This was not noticed until much, much later. Once they had bought all the ingredients, the Pong family raced to the Marquee, which was set up in a beautiful part of the English countryside. The final of cook-off was live and beamed all over the world. It's time to cook, announced Tony Truffle, and the three finalists got to work. Henry Heft was making a panettone, while the Vinnie Vinegar was going to boil yet another egg. How is that an Italian dish, Miss Vinegar? asked Tony. The hen who laid it was Italian, claimed Vinnie. And they were off! They had just half an hour to cook something delicious and wow the judges. All was going well for Ping Pong. She fried the mushrooms, added them to the creamy pasta sauce and added that to the spaghetti she had boiled perfectly. Not too hard, not too soft, just right. The finishing touch would be the parmesan cheese she would grate on top, just to add that wow factor. She took, a, she took out the cheese grater and smiled to herself. She had very nearly done it. However, when Ping reached into her bag to grab the parmesan cheese, she was horrified to discover a block of lard. Dad! She shouted across the walkway. Her proud parents had been peeping through a gap in the tent and now dashed over to her. What's the matter, my love? asked her mum. Look, exclaimed the girl, showing them the lord. You picked up the wrong one, Peter, she told mum. It wasn't my fault. I ain't something in my eye, he protested. You had your own stink in your eye, Dad. One minute ago, cooks, announced Tony Truffle. No, cried Ping. My dish is ruined. I'll never win now. Peter Pong Ping. Ping, I have an idea, he said brightly. I know where we can get some magnificent cheese. There isn't time, hissed Ping. Thirty seconds to go called out Truffle. See? said the girl. Don't worry, Dad will save the day, said Peter, as he grabbed a bowl and the cheese grit and dashed out the Marquee. What he did next will give you nightmares. Not just nightmares, but cheesy nightmares. And cheesy nightmares are the worst. Peter Pong kicked off his sandals and began grating the hard skin on the bottom of his foot. If he into the bowl. Well, uh, scrape, scrape, scrape. The pong was phantasmapongagorical. Ten seconds to go, Peter heard Tony Truffle announce from inside the tent. As the final countdown began, he dashed back over to his daughter. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Peter was in such a hurry that he tripped over a cooking pot and went flying. The foot cheese flew through the end before Pink could give it a sniff. It sprinkled itself all over a pasta dish. One, said Tony Truffle. That's it, cooks. Now is the moment of truth. Judges, it's time to taste. The two judges, Bobby Bollywood and Dame Penelope Plum, sprang into action. First they tasted Hef's panettone cake. One most definitely approves, announced the Dane, taking a slice. Beautiful, said Bobby, stuffing his face with all that was left. Like me. The Dame rolled her eyes. It was clear she hated how this hog hogged the camera. Ping sniffed the cheese in her dish. It smelled bad. Where did you get that cheese, Dad? She asked. Don't worry, it was completely fresh, she replied. Meanwhile, the presenter and judges moved on to Vivini Vinegar, who, as usual, did not crack a smile. The dame was first to take a spoonful. Mmm, one must congratulate you. A textbook egg-flavoured and egg-shaped egg. In a word, eggy. This is definitely an egg, muttered Tony. Perfect, added Bobby. Just like me. He popped the rest of the egg in his mouth all at once, shell and all. The dame muttered, ridiculous little man, under her breath. Dad, is Ping. Is the cheese what I think it is? Peter, no, added Mom. Shush, shush, Dad. They won't notice a thing. The three arrived at Ping Pong Station. Wow, remarked.
Pop Tony. The aroma of that cheese is overpowering. It is Parmesan, like Peter. It is a special type of Italian cheese. The presenter was most put out. I think I know my cheese. He snapped, patting his round Tony. Tony, Bobby, Bollywood and the dame all eagerly helped themselves to the spaghetti. I'm starving, announced Tony. Robin added the dame. So hungry, I am angry, exclaimed Bobby. He still had bits of the cake and egg on his face. Hangry. At once they all tucked into Ping Pong's pasta. The poor girl looked on in horror, sure she was about to see her dreams dashed. But as soon as Tony, Bobby and the dame began scoffing, it was clear they were enjoying it immensely. Scrumptious, declared Tony. Three Ds began the dame. Delightful, delectable and delicious. Yummy, was Bobby, Bobby's verdict. There wasn't much left, so he picked up the bowl and poured the remainder down his throat. Do we have a winner? Pressed the Marquis. Pressed the presenter. A hush descended upon the Marquis. A hush that could be heard all around the world. So, so all to be continued. So, like this video for part three. Meanwhile, you might want to enjoy stranger. Later. Reading while slipping on a trampoline is impossible. Me.